Hi, um, I'm Skylar Gould, uh, just retiring president of New England Coalition. Um, Martha asked me to uh, uh, talk about what work that I'm hoping to do in the near future, which relates to the uh, 2020 Olympics in Japan. The government of uh, Prime Minister Abe is doing its best to get their uh, crippled nuclear power industry back up in gear and also to uh, declare to the world that um, there, the uh, crisis at Fukushima has passed. Well, there's a whole lot to, um, to argue against that. Uh, one of our cohorts, Arnie Gunderson from Fairwinds, um, they, they, Arnie was, is a retired industry executive who figured out uh, with his wife Maggie that um, nuclear power wasn't the best way to go. But he's been over to Japan uh, numerous times since the uh, meltdowns at Fukushima and um, has developed research which is now peer uh, Peer reviewed and published, uh, working with uh, scientists at Worcester Polytechnic, which uh, talks about how Japan, really, even hundreds of miles from the accident, <coughs> was blanketed with a, um, a highly radioactive dust particles. The common notion about radiation is you it comes from outside, but what happens with these hot particles? is that they are ubiquitous and they can be inhaled and ingested. My, my intention and, and work of other people uh, in, in this regard is to challenge the decision by the Abe government to, uh, ha and the International Olympic Committee to hold a number of events for the 2020 Olympics in Fukushima, um, not just hundreds of miles away where they've or even they have found these particles in Tokyo, which is uh, some hundreds of miles away from the accident. And um, so there's, I know there's baseball and soccer, and I believe there's some rowing or sailing events that are directly in Fukushima province. And what I'd like to suggest directly to the athletes that are participating in these sports, not just in Fukushima, but in Japan, the, most of the events will be uh, uh, will take place in the Tokyo area is that these, do, do you, do you uh, addressing the individual athletes, do you really want to do a lot of heavy breathing in, in, um, uh, in Japan generally, but particularly in Fukushima where these, the majority of these hot particles, the samples that were retrieved were found. And um, it you know, it may be 50 years before a hot particle uh, creates enough cell damage that uh, cancer can actually uh, develop. Um, uh, but is that a chance you want to take? And, and so my, I, my hope is to actually get to the athletes directly and at least let them know uh, what the facts are in this regard. If there is enough uh, objection by individual athletes, it's conceivable to me that, that the whole premise of holding the Olympics in Japan could be challenged. But certainly, I mean, they're, that's the plan. They have their, they've decon decontaminated uh, uh, at least one arena, which was not habitable at all, and that's where they want to actually hold, hold, the, um, hold the events. Um, you know, they're saying, well, we're well on the way to cleaning it uh, up for the Olympics. Um, you know, we'll see. Can they move the site? Sure, they could move the site. It, it was definitely a, a, a push by Abe to legitimize uh, the cleanup efforts in, in Fukushima. They do not have to be in Fukushima. This is hundreds of miles away from, from Tokyo where the majority of the, uh, of the events are taking place.